COVID-19 may still be here, but there are clear indications that things are getting back to normal. Like for instance, students celebrating 12 years of academic achievement and entering adulthood by spray painting graffiti, followed by various adults defending their actions with a counter argument best articulated as, but um, what about the potholes? Hi, I'm Joe Ward of Boxer Shorts Media, and I'm following along on social media as there's a bit of a local uproar in CBRM right now. A few individuals among a group of presumably new memorial grads or others taking advantage of their graduation excitement spray painted their full names on public streets along with statements like F the police. Deputy Mayor Erlene McMullen called out the behavior and posted photos on Facebook, including photos of full names of individuals who must have thought that the even smarter thing to do than deface public property was to let everyone know who did it. It was either that or some real jerk friends who thought it would be funny to tag someone else's name. Some folks took issue with the deputy mayor and she posted an update suggesting that she was receiving what she described as threats. And Mayor McDougal weighed in briefly, correctly calling that behavior ridiculous. Apparently you can break the law with graffiti on a public street, write your full name on the pavement, but if it's posted on public social media, well the real wrong done clearly must be calling out the spray painters for their behavior, not the behavior itself. Go figure. Spray painting the trestle in Sydney River was some kind of graduation ritual even before my time in high school at Riverview. And while I always thought even that was stupid, even if bold, hitting the streets or public property with spray paint, profane or not, was never an activity befitting the success and happiness of high school graduation. These students just spent 12 years successfully preparing to start their lives, their post-secondary educations at university or in the trades, and their careers. And that's exciting. That's significant, and that's important. So why are some of them celebrating it as though, instead of successful graduates, they're just misfits or dropouts armed with a can of paint and an unhealthy disrespect for their communities? That may not be who they are, and it probably isn't, but lapses in judgment that take us out of character happen. But in society, it's still the misfits and disrespectful folks we generally associate with that kind of behavior. And is that the label that these students wanted? They should have stuck to the trestle or whatever structure has become a part of the ritual for their school. And I'm sure that's what most of those participating actually wanted to do and did. Instead, once again, a few bad actors among all of the participants made the others look bad and spoiled whatever fun there was to be had with a grad activity involving spray paint. Listen, it's certainly not isolated to Memorial. Sydney Academy graffiti was vastly worse a few years back and caused an even bigger uproar. Having occasional instances of bad judgment is a part of youth. Many of us get in a bit of trouble at some point or another when we're young. And even young folks who aren't normally involved can get swept up into the excitement when some in their group take things too far. As a result, once again, we have a situation where some of the better intentioned graduates will end up on cleanup duty, whether they were responsible for it or not, and they'll be distracted and upset by the critical feedback that arises instead of focusing on having a great time during one of the most important achievements of their lives. At the end of the day, perhaps the worst behavior involved isn't by the students at all, but instead it's probably the adults trying to turn the tables on the deputy mayor for calling out the irresponsibility and disrespect of the activity, or trying foolishly to excuse it by criticizing her for unrepaired potholes or litter as though that was a valid excuse for disrespectful graffiti left in the neighborhood. The young adults involved have an opportunity to mature and learn from it, but what about the attitudes from the adults who have already grown up? How are we gonna improve those? Don't gang up on the deputy mayor for calling a spade a spade, and don't miss out on the opportunity to make sure that this is the last time these kids, if they're yours, have such a lapse in judgment. Congratulations to all local graduates for your hard work and your success. Don't let this nonsense steal your thunder. This is your time. So be proud of your achievement and celebrate it with your family and friends and the world awaits you. For all videos, subscribe to Boxer Shorts Media on your choice of YouTube or Facebook. Please hang up and try again.